Hello everyone and welcome again to my channel. Today we will talk about the Western classical art traditions, particularly the representative artists from various art periods. This is the second lesson in art for the first quarter. For the most essential learning competency, at the end of the lesson you'll be able to identify the representative artists from various art periods. Oh, and by the way, I would appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel where I post all the lessons in MAPE. And if you like this video, please leave a like and comment after the lecture has ended. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the prehistoric period. There are different artists that emerged during the time, particularly in ancient Greek and ancient Rome. So the highest point of Greek culture, particularly in Athens, was attained in this period. Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle were the great sources of thought of Western civilization as science and philosophy started. It is the Greek declaration and general pericles that led Athens to its most deluxe historical note in this period. So, itong si General Pericles ang pinaka naglead sa ancient Greek para ma-appreciate nila yung science, philosophy, and art nung panahon ng ancient Greece. Exactias was an ancient Greek face painter and potter who was active in Athens between roughly 545 BC and 530 BC. He worked mainly in the black figure technique which involved the painting of scenes using a clay slip that fired to black with details created through incision. So another famous painter or uh, artist during the time of ancient Greek is Exequias. Now let's talk about the Egyptian artist. We know that uh, most of the paintings are to create are, are created to represent the belief of the ancient Egyptians in the afterlife. So Created paintings are used to make the afterlife of the deceased a pleasant place. So, created sculpture that evolved to represent the ancient Egyptian gods and pharaohs, the divine kings and queens in physical form, and massive and magnificent statues were built to represent gods and famous kings and queens. Yung mga makikita natin sa mga ancient tomb ng mga nung ancient Egypt ay, ay mostly about sa mga Egyptian gods and yung mga namatay nila na pharaoh. Often show a sophisticated knowledge of anatomy and a close attention to detail, especially in their renderings of animals. Nakita din sa mga, ancient, uh, sa mga Egyptian paintings nung panahon na yun, yung sobrang attention nila pagdating sa detail. Kasi nga, di ba, most of the paintings detail the story dun sa pinaniniwalaan nilang makikimbuhay nung mga yumao na. So, also discover the art of covering pottery with enamel. So, sa panahon din pala ng, mga, ng ancient Egyptian na invento yung pottery with enamel. So, the Book of the Dead regulate Egypt's preoccupation with death and immortality. It is a funerary text which describes the concept of ancient Egypt of the afterlife that directed it about how to pass through complication in death. So, the Book of the Dead just tells the story kung paano yung magiging journey nung mga taong namatay na. So, parang... Ano siya, parang step-by-step -step procedure, ito po na yung pupuntahan mo, tapos dito ka sa sunod na pupunta, and yun, 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 hanggang sa makarating dun siya dun sa afterlife na mas maganda. Now let's talk about the classical period. So classical period is mainly about Greek and Roman art. So who are the Greek artists? Greeks regarded painting as the highest form of art. And Greek painters worked mainly on wood panels and these perished rapidly after the 4th century AD when they were no longer actively protected. So, kahit na sobrang halaga ng painting sa mga Greek, but since ginawa siya sa mga, most of the paintings were made in wood panels, so there, mas madalas na talaga, alala na talaga sa kanila is nag-perish na siya or nawala na siya. So there were two famous painters during the 5th century BC depicting reality in ancient Greeks. That is, that is Josis and Paraph 
parashis. Yan. So, juicy painted grapes. So, lifelike that birds flew down to peck at them. And parashus painted a curtain that is so real. So, itong dalawang painter na to, si Juices at saka si Parashus, pareha silang realistic painter to the point na <laughs> nalilito yung mga tao at even animals, they thought that, they are, that the paintings are real. And then the most famous of the Athenian temples dedicated to the goddess Athena were the ones constructed by Ectinos, Calicrates, and Phidias. It is known as the Parthenon. Yan. Then, the Parthenon symbolizes Athenian imperial power having a single row of pillars on all sides and Doric columns expanding around the perimeter of the entire structure. So, these are the Doric columns. Pag-aaralan natin yan sa ibang lesson natin. What is the meaning of a Doric column? And yung Parthenon is uh, surrounded by these columns or pillars of walls. So, the great Phidias is the son of Charmides, was an ancient Greek sculptor, universally regarded as the greatest of Greek sculptor. So, he designed the towering statues of the goddess Athena in the Parthenon in Athens and the colossal seated statue of Zeus at Olympia in the 5th century BC. So, si great Phidias ang pinakasikat sa lahat ng mga pinakamagaling sa lahat ng mga ancient Greek sculptors dahil siya yung nag-design ng goddess of Athena at saka statue of Zeus doon sa Parthenon at saka sa Olympia noong 5th century. These works were apparently commissioned by Pericles in 447 BC. The statue of Laocoon and his sons, also called the Laocoon group, has been one of the most famous ancient sculptors during the 50 BC by the sculptor Agesandros and Athenadoras et Polidori. So, tignan kayo, diba? Sobrang galing ng pagkakagawa nila. Imagine na during the ancient period, mga ganito na yung sculptures na nakikreate. And last, let's talk about the art forms from the medieval period and their artists. Siguro sa, sa lahat ng mga artists during the medieval period, ang pinakasikat ay si yung gawa ni Dante Alighieri na nagsulat ng Divine Comedy. So the creators of many of the creations during the time of the medieval period remain unknown kasi nga, nung panahon ng, ng medieval period, kung tutuusin, hindi encourage yung mga mga paggawa ng mga paintings at saka sculptures kasi the, the Christian church believe that they are paganistic in nature. So, kung hindi religious yung theme ng painting or ng sculpture, parang hindi disregard yun ng Catholic Church. Yan. So, it is in the medieval period where religion dominated the artworks and created expression of civilization. So, the context of the subject, form, and style were all about Christianity. So, the height of the literary achievements during this period was illustrated by Dante Alighieri's Divina Commedia or also known as Divine Comedy, which depicted the journey of Dante through hell and purgatory next to heaven where he joined his loved ones, the saints, and God. So, alam ko pag-aaralan nito sa literature ninyo, kaya hindi natin siya masyado pang i-elaborate. But uh, Dante Alighieri's Divine Comedy is one of the most popular literary achievement during the time of the medieval period. Enclosing this gigantic work is its parabolic reference to diverse mythical and historical individuals and the values that, work, that the work comments on. And another famous artwork or architectural design during the time of the medieval period is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Maurice de Sully initiated the construction of the, Norris, of, of the Notre Dame Cathedral and he is the Bishop of Paris who conceived the idea of converting into a single building on a larger scale the ruins of two earlier basilicas. So this is what Notre Dame Cathedral looks like. So that's the end of my discussion. Although this, the video is short, I hope that you learned something from me. Leave a like and comment on this video if you like this content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. I appreciate all the love from you guys. Stay safe and see you again next time.